many years ago while looking through NASA's images from the Spirit rover, I kept seeing what appeared to be similar objects in different locations of Martian Columbia Hills. You can find the links to the official images I'm going to show you in the description to this video. Under close examination of several images, some of those objects, which I call gear objects, seem to have six crests and six rows, positioned around an opening in the middle. Both the diameter of the concave opening in the center and the size of the ridges appear to vary from gear to gear. Here I am going to show you two images in which you should clearly see that the objects look very similar, while being in two different locations as evident by their position in the Martian sand, as well as by different surroundings around them. Let me show you several other images where the similar objects can be seen. There are other images where the same objects can be found, but those images are either of lower quality or the object in question is located far from the camera and so we can see them clearly. Now what about the size of these objects? In this image we are lucky to see both the tracks of the spirit rover and the gear object being not far from them. The spirit rover has wheels which are about 21 cm wide. About two gears can be fit into the width of the rover's track, so the diameter of the gear object is approximately 10 cm, or about 4 inches. Due to the rather complex shape of the objects, as well as their symmetry, it's clear that they can be rocks that appeared due to geological reasons. The question then arises, are those gear objects the remains of living beings, or are there perhaps the rocks shaped into this form by intelligent beings? Whatever the case, the existence of these clearly similar looking objects, located in clearly different locations, should be enough to say that Mars used to have life. As for me, it wasn't at all surprising to find these objects since I already knew that Mars used to have life up to about 1,350,000 of our Earth years ago. That knowledge comes from a free ebook called Yalvo Prophecy. You can watch this video if you want to know why I can say I know that that book is indeed a true report by Michel de Marquet. In my second video I'll show you the Martian objects with apparent symmetry, which might have been artificially made. Thanks for watching.